into a nether strike, you've got events potentially to swap him out, you've got disrupted, drop down a static storm, Batrider to blink in and cause chaos as well, so... And tanky direwolves here, doing some work, but uh-oh, he's been scattered out, gets a little bit too close oh, to the wow. ward. Spiritbreaker gonna charge this, now he is level 2, so he does have that point in greater bash, maybe hoping for some RNG here. He will choose to dive the tower. Oh, he gets the bash. Can he get that next auto attack, though? He needs it. Gives him the lantern. It's a first blood for Mag. Probably going to cost him his life. First of many, as he says. Charge out. Oh, he's not going to get it. That is unfortunate. About five mana short. Gets glimpsed back into tower range. They knock off his salve and... He even spent his money. So. Well, they're going to charge in. Aces Polar will break their smoke. FNG with a double damage on in the front lines. Bat Rider on his way over. There's the blink. Goes for Mag. DK Phobos comes in. Clap on four. Now the split comes out. Flame Break kind of messes up F God's positioning, but it's PR on the back foot. Mag going for J4. Gets a double kill as he brings down the Bat Rider and the Venge. Brew Ling's going in onto Seneco. Looks like he may be doomed as well. Now off the backside. Illidan with a stone gaze onto QW. He's out of mana. Now getting charged, getting bashed around. Even the heal bomb from Dazzle doing some good damage. Ditya poked by the snake, will make it out. And Seneco not going to be so lucky as Phobos hits him with a crit. It's going to be a four for nil here, gods, as Ace is polar. Pull away with some stats, but I think he'd love to go for something like a heart, maybe... Um, a butterfly of his own, just to beef up a little bit, and the MKB he does present a little bit of a risk if he gets petrified again, if he gets, um, you know, Soul Catcher, they have that opportunity to kind of blow him up. Down bottom, QW getting charged from afar again, the Bruce will be utilized, they find the kill, now a lasso on the mag, but where's the follow-up damage? Nowhere to be found, Dityarod joins the party, and will find the kill after a swap, but now Seneco, isolated by the Brulings and just no way to deal with it. Now Anti-Mage thrown up in the Cyclone, some more support joining the party, Lil as well as FNG coming down to make sure DK Phobos can make an exodus. And looks like he'll be all right for now. Shadow Demon with a disruption aggressively here. They want to go on to Cheshire Cat. He's got no armor thanks to the weave. A few more auto attacks is all they need and they'll find it. FNG even gets grave to stay alive a bit longer. He will inevitably go down, but now Phobos manning up on Ditya They saw him use the blink aggressively. He wants Lil. Does he bite off more than he can chew here? Not have much in the way of vision in this area. They've got a ward somewhere. Yep, there it is. So they see him. They see Aces Polar walk right into the pit. Storm is still split pushing top while this is going on. Bat Rider uses his flame break maybe a bit prematurely here. Trying to snatch the Aegis. Going to be difficult without it. They will hop in though. Ditya goes forward. Anti Mage snatches the Aegis. It's the Radiant get, uh, that get the last hit though. Big mana uh, break out on top of Illidan. But can they actually kill him? Grave flies through. Static Storm doing some work here. They trade Disruptor for Spirit Breaker. Illidan on the run. Anti Mage in hot pursuit takes a poison touch. But I don't I don't think it's going to be enough to keep Illidan alive. No, certainly not. Ditya blinking forward, finds the kill. Two for two. Both supports on Power Rangers down, but they pick up two cores on the side. Of Feeling somewhat safe around this Medusa. They need to be five man though, because Medusa currently no buyback, about 300 short. Longer this is a very they're bold sure. play from Aces Polar. No, no obvious reason why they're going for the high ground now, other than they see PR pushing in side lanes. They're all grouped up. They had the lane control here, so... Why not force out the glyph? It seems like the right play. PR not prepared for this. They will TP back all of their resources, but they've already lost barracks. Illidan now caught inside of the lasso. They'll pull him into no man's land. Can he get off the stone gaze? No, loses the mana, then gets silenced. Now Phobos comes in, BKB on, gets the kill on Venge, but they do bring down Illidan in exchange. F God in some trouble, still alive for now. The bash is on QW, keeping him alive. Shadow Demon lives as he moves into the tree line. The Bruce Blood doing a lot of work, unfortunately. Puts that illusion up in the tornado, but a two for two. Aces Polar trying to make the retreat now. Lil will be left behind. No TP scroll, so definitely going down. Meanwhile, in the top lane, DK Phobos and Cheshire Cat going at it. Looks like Phobos could be in some trouble. The blink away, but Ditya will be here in hot pursuit. Phobos also lacking a TP scroll of his own. A barrel of laughs as he hits him with a clap. Might try to turn on a Cheshire Cat. He finds it after a bash. Oh my. They end his monster kill streak. It does go the way of the Anti-Mage, so still works out. Oh, the Illidan here. I don't think they'll have a Tango in the jungle, but could be possible. Anti-Mage with a huge net worth now, about 6k up on Illidan. 6,000 gold to boot. Oh, oh, here we go. Illidan now initiated on his QW. Comes charging on in. Grave and out. defensive disruption, but where does Illidan go from here? Like you said, no mana, no stone gaze, and that is a big pickoff for PR. Now the zip forward, FNG possibly going down here as well. 
Well, well, not the best use of the mana void, but still does secure the kill. Fair enough. Second though, the glyphs gets BKB. Okay, Mag just pop his BKB. Their knowledge of when they can kill this Medusa with the Antimage, all they need is a little bit of lockdown to burn the Medusa's mana, so there's no stone gaze. Every fight with no stone gaze has been just a disaster for Ace's Polar. Yeah. Now they needs like a BKB or something. There is no buyback on Dusa here, gods. This is at least one lane of barracks. Is this the GG push right here? They've got 35 seconds of a 5v3. Medusa pulled a Mithril Hammer, which is, yeah, I was just about to say, BKB very important, but buyback as well, like that's... That's two legs of rack, that's possibly a third lane. This is 25 seconds is more than enough time to get that third lane, or at least to force Aces Solar to yeah. engage with their Brewmaster. 43 minutes in, did your raw on this anti-mage, even if they can get one more pick off here. Now, power control the map right now, they've got great vision up in the enemy base, down the yeah. mid lane, and... They've got a lot of intel, they know exactly where the Radiant are, now it'll be the Radiant that get aggressive, still no BKB on Dusa, about 400 gold short, maybe not the time they want to take the fight, Phobos taking a lot of damage, locked down, now stuck in the Static Storm, he gets graved, but still can't get off the split, he'll be the first one to go down, Illidan doing some good damage to QW off to the side, but Anti-Mage... Doing some work as well. Lil will live for now. Mag gets stunned up. Now they lose their Dazzle off on the backside. QW wins the duel. This is turning into an awkward fight. A two for one as QW barely makes the retreat. FNG just walks right into him. Now a one for three, but can they actually punish QW here? The charge, is it going to get there in time? It doesn't matter. Illidan finds the kill. Now Ditya cruising on in. It's going to be a man fight that Illidan loses. Oh, no. Illidan does have a buyback here, but it's a full five-man wipe for Aces Polar, and I think this is your G. Both Aces Polar supports do not stand up well against the Storm. They can do what they they can using their Ghost Scepter, their Force Staff to try and kite the Storm around a bit to stay alive, but once Storm has the big mana pool that he now does with two points inside the enemy base, so they really need sentries or gem to get rid of this. This is Dire Vision we're looking at right now. They know exactly what's going on. Allows Cheshire Cat to isolate DK Phobos straight away. Illidan isolated as well. QW goes right in on him. Phobos, oh, he's so low. He doesn't have enough mana for the split. Compliments of all that mana burn. Remember, he used the buyback in the last fight, so he is down for the count. 100 seconds with out the Brewmaster or his split. Illidan, though, gets off a nice stone gaze, doing a lot of damage on the high ground. QW is still alive. Now Illidan's out of mana. The Aegis will go down. Grave onto Illidan. He'll live for now. They do get the kill on Ditya He buys back, ready to get straight back into the fray. Now the Deuce is down. Again, no buyback on her. Lil glimpsed back, stunned up, brought down with all five dead. Aces Polar, no choice but to call the GGs. Man, they just control that AM so well. Uh, they, they control the Medusa so well with the AM, and in that last fight, I mean, the only thing the AM had to worry about was his own illusions. The disruption illusions was what <laughs> ultimately killed him, uh, and a few times in fights did a huge amount of damage, but with the buyback advantage, no, neither carry on the rating side having them. Medusa could maybe get one or two big kills, but there was no kind of end goal inside as far as getting back into the game, getting any kind of serious damage like the rapier we talked about. And yeah.